Hey everybody, Jake here, and today um, I'm just going to do a quick disassembly of the Twisby VAC 700. This video has been one of the more popular ones on my channel, so I figured a disassembly video would maybe help out some of you guys that purchased the pen. So we'll go ahead and get right into it. Um, some stuff you'll need, I recommend um, some sort of paper towel or tissue or something like that. Some Q-tips to get down and some, or cotton swabs to get down in some hard to reach areas. You'll need your Twisby wrench that comes with your Twisby pen, um, your silicone grease, and both of those, if you're not aware, are stored, when you get the Twisby case, they're stored in the bottom here. So if you take off this lid and take out the little white insert, they'll be tucked in right under there. That'll have everything you need, and typically some spare parts as well. Alright, so we'll go ahead and take off the cap. And let's go ahead and actually cotton swab this, because there's some ink up in here. And I kind of ran this under underwater a little bit right before this. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and remove the nib, and you can these unscrew. The nib and feet comes off in one unit. And I'll just set that over here on the paper towel and get some of the moisture off, some of the excess ink. And I'm really just doing this to store the pen. I don't plan on inking it back up after this. Um, if you were still finding ink in your pen at this point, after cleaning it out, you would really, really want to rinse this part before you ink up again, just to prevent uh, color contamination. So this is what you're left with. <clears throat> so what you'll want to do now is go ahead and unscrew the vacuum mechanism and pull it all the way out. And then you can take your twisty wrench and there's two flat sides on either part of the back of the mechanism here. Take your wrench, you slot it right in there, and then you want to twist. If you're looking at it this way, it's going to be counterclockwise. After a few revolutions, you can go ahead and do it with your fingers the rest of the way. And you'll remove this, and I just noticed that my the actual vacuum um, tube is stuck down in there, so that's not good. Let's see if I can grab that back up real quick. Not looking too promising. Okay, so I actually had to get the little vacuum plunger out with a um, paper clip. That was not fun. But now we have it fully disassembled. Yours hopefully won't do that. But if it does, now you know. Um, so first thing we want to do is go ahead and use one of the Q-tips, uh, cotton swallows, whatever you want to call them, and try to get all of the ink out of the barrel, or at least most of the ink out of the barrel. Just again, this is just for storage. Um, if there's a few wet spots, it's not really that big of a deal. But I, I prefer, especially with this being a demonstrator, for it to be completely, completely clean. Or as clean as I can get it. I'll do the inside as well, just in case. Okay. So here you can see, this is the vacuum mechanism. What it does is this side locks in to the back end of the pen. And then once it has the little bar to create suction, this is what you get. So we'll go ahead and extend that and clean off the actual vacuum rod. If you're curious to know why this rod doesn't corrode when it's submerged in liquid, that is because this rod is titanium. And titanium is corrosion resistant. Alright, so I think we've got all of that. So we will slide this back down. <clears throat> And there are small O-rings at several places on this pen. Um, Twisby does include some extras if you need them. So in case you lose any, you know, don't freak out. It's okay. There's, I believe, two. And you can always get more from Twisby, or I believe they're standard size. You could look up, you know, what size they are. And go from there and get them from your local hardware store. So what you want to do is go ahead and put this plunger back on. This is the VAC 700R model, so it's a little different. So you want to put it wide end down, facing away from you, or away from the back of the pen. So what we'll do now is we'll take that silicone grease that Twisby provides, and you want to put this on there. What we'll actually do is put it on a cotton swab first. Now these bottles are rather difficult, in my experience, to get the actual silicone grease out of. 
because there isn't really enough to squeeze and it doesn't really drip down so I'm not sure where their intentions were for this but if you really 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 squeeze I can get a couple drops out that's really all you need you don't need to apply too much of this but you want to apply it all the way around that little ring That way, when it slides against the wall of the pen, there's there's as little friction as possible. So once you've got all of that applied to that little ring, and made sure that it is fixed on there nice and tight, you can go ahead and begin reassembly. So again, you'll slide this down to here. insert it into the barrel of the pen go ahead and tighten it down and then you can do the last quarter of a turn or so with your Twisby wrench and then you can feel that suction being created and you can hear it there I'm assuming you can hear that on camera and you can see the ring of mine now is not coming loose which is important to say the least. All right, so go ahead and screw that on. You want to screw your nib unit back in. Until it's fully tightened. Put your cap back on, and that's it. So the disassembly is a little bit more complex, to be honest, with some of the um, piston filling pens from Twisby. But I'll do one of the 580 when it runs out of ink. My wife currently has it. But we'll do a disassembly of that, or possibly the back, uh, the Twisby Mini. All the pist all the piston mechanisms are very similar in the disassembly method. But thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, that way you can clean and disassemble your Twisby Vac 700R. Um, keep an eye out for some upcoming videos, and don't forget to check out my pen and ink reviews that come out every week. Thanks, guys.